A boom sticks? A boom stick, short one. It's as, a it, as long as they're not clap sticks. If this thing, oh, yeah. if we, you make, this truck cannot clap. There's no clapping. No clapping cheeks. In this driveway, there's no clapping exhaust, right? That the convention that we don't clap in this chamber is very, very, very long established and widely respected. Mopar fam, I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. So we are back in town here in Georgia. Uh, we went out of town, went to North Carolina for a few days uh, to go see some family. So we're back, and uh, Mr. Guy over here, my son, he got something kind of cool for Christmas for Clifford, the uh, Dakota RT. So we're kind of going to do a little unboxing, see what he got for Clifford. All right, so you were waiting all week long to get back home so you could see what you got for christmas right yeah. huh what and what'd we get what'd we get um jba jba that's a hint a hint well let's get let's get in the box let's see what exhaust. we got performance exhaust don't look i like to call them boom sticks <laughs> this is my boom stick Boom sticks. A boom stick, short one. As, it, as long as they're not clap sticks. If this yeah, thing, oh yeah, if we, you make, this truck cannot clap. There's no clapping. No clapping cheeks. In this driveway, there's no clapping exhaust. Right. The, the convention that we don't clap in this chamber is very, very, very long established and widely respected. So what do you think, there, guy? I think I'm gonna be booming. Booming. Let's see what we got. Got some JBAs, same thing we got on Frostbite, basically. These are shorties. Um, not many choices out there for the Dakotas, as far as long tubes goes. Long tubes are very, very hard to find for these trucks. Um, actually, nobody had them in stock either right now, so that kind of limited our plans. And long tubes don't fit very good on these trucks. There are some brands out there that fit pretty well, but... Uh, we decided to go a little easy with the shorties right here from JBA. Uh, these headers fit pretty good. Um, they bolt on pretty easily. And there's a lot of people with some good reviews on these shorties uh, from JBA for the Dakota. But compared to the old ones, I mean, what do you think? At least it's not clapping cheeks. Not clapping cheeks? Or the stock OEM ones. Well, you? these stock ones are... Them are pretty much junk. I yeah. mean, I don't know what what would you call those? What do you think? Probably the uh, what is his name? God dang it, the Tomator of headers. Those are the Tomator of headers. Rusty. Yeah, I get. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much right. Yeah. Not, I don't know. They're not actually. Old cast them. iron headers. I think they've served their time. They're gonna have to come out of there. Um. Here's the Lightning McQueen. We've started work on, on pulling the transmission out too, right? So we got, we pulled off the fender flares because we're going to be getting ready to paint this thing up here soon. There's an old header garbage. So you've started, before we went out of town, you was working on this thing. You got pretty much all the old exhaust off or Basically. you got it unbolted, right? It's unbolted. It's just got to, it's got to be pulled off. Pull it so down. One little like clamp on each end. And then if I remember, I think we got the transmission. Yeah, the transmission mount. And then you can finish pulling the rest of the exhaust off. And then it's drive shaft. And then you got to unhook the drive shaft. And then finally unbolt the transmission and pull it out. So we've uh he's been working on it, that's for sure. He's been working on it. And we're kind of doing this old school, or should I say he is. I'm making him do most of it. Well, actually, that's a lie. I've made you do all of it. 
But you that, busted one knuckle. I did person. bust one knuckle, and that's when I quit and I went in the house because I was mad. And that's when it turned to a one-person job. There you go. See? But he's got to learn, right? I can't do it all for him, so he's about to start messing with it some more, guys. She's going to be at least booming soon. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully when the transmission comes out of here and we get it fixed up, uh, then we'll be putting on... Or and by we I mean you will be putting on those shorty JBA headers. Then be time to freshen up this uh, motor a little bit. We got to do plugs, wires, distributor cap back there, button. Um, just kind of get this thing ready to roll. And then it'll be time to fix up this paint. I'm gonna be sanding this whole entire thing down. I'm gonna be getting this dent. And the cab fixed up so it looks good he did a fantastic job on cleaning the inside of this truck if you guys seen it before and after um, it looks a lot better we got a, a new lid coming for the console that was broke but other than that I mean the inside of this trucks looking really good now definitely night and day difference compared to what it used to look like so she's coming along, coming along. We got new SCAR audio speakers in the back. We still got to do the ones in the front. Um, and we also got to rip all this old tent off because it's all trash. Yeah. But <laughs> one step at a time, one step at a time. I'm so looking forward to sanding. So. So looking forward to sanding. It's going to be so fun, huh? Yeah. That's going to be... Uh, <laughs> We got to get rid of all this stuff. All the clear coats coming off, as you can see. Look at that. It's just flaking and bubbling. So, we're going to be doing lots and lots of sanding so we can uh, freshen this thing back up and make it look like at least one color. So, heck yeah, stay tuned. Uh, so, he's going to be out here working on this thing for a little while. He'll be, he'll be working on some videos of his own. He's been posting a little bit of stuff on his YouTube channel. Um, his channel will be on the in the description below. So have fun. I'm gonna go back inside and sit on my butt while you work. How's that sound? Of course, perfect plan. All right, sounds good to me.